where there is darkness, let there be light. I was recently asked this question on my YouTube channel and it was, Doc, why is it that you insist on the use of a light cure cement for laminates and veneers? How about I give you three solid reasons for the same. Reason number one, remember with light cure resin cements, you have unlimited working time, which means I am not hurried through the procedure of bonding my restorations in place. I want you to imagine if I am working on not one or two teeth, but multiple restorations that I am bonding simultaneously, I don't want to be in fear. Oh shit, what if my cement starts setting? And that is a problem you will always find with dual cure resin cements. Remember, the moment they are mixed together, a chemical reaction is set in place and the resin begins to polymerize, which means whilst I am bonding, there is a possibility that the resin is already setting and I am worried that if I do not finish my procedure in time, retrieval of the set cement can be an absolute disaster. With light cure cements, you have the concept of command cure, which means the moment you put light on, that is the only time when the resin will polymerize, which means I can take my time, do it easy, act peace, not worried, whilst I am removing the excess cement and bonding multiple restorations in together. So reason number one is unlimited working time. A second reason is the fact that a light cure cement will give me a stronger bond with the underlying tooth which means my restorations when bonded in place with a light cure cement and not a dual cure cement, the longevity of the restorations will be greater, which means they will not easily debond. That's reason number two. And reason number three is imagine I spent so much time and effort into giving my patient a smile that they love with the help of these thin shells of ceramic only to realize that the shade unfortunately changes over time. That, friends, is a problem with dual cure resin cements. They undergo hydrolysis and the shade may change, which is why light cure cements, which have very good shade stability, is my resin of choice. So now I hope you understand why is it that I insist that when you are cementing glass laminates and glass ceramic veneers, always choose a light cure resin cement because these are thin shells of ceramic, light can easily pass through them and polymerize the resin inside. As long as your restoration is less than one millimeter thick, feel free to use a light cure resin cement. If you're wondering what is it that I use in my practice, the answer friends is the Rely X Veneer Cement, which is from 3M. I love the particle size, the consistency, the bond for the past 10 years. I have been using this resin cement, never felt the need to change. Remember, a light cure cement will be a single syringe and a dual cure cement will have two syringes that have to be mixed together, which is your base and the catalyst. I'm not looking at dual cure cements for thin restorations, which are glass, ceramics and laminates. Hope this gives you an answer to your question. And if you wish to learn more from me, I would love for you to come on to mikeducation.com where I share my knowledge and my understanding about prosthetic dentistry. Feel free to go ahead and use this promo code you first so that you can get a discount on your first purchase. Until we meet next, I wish you a happy bonded life.